Here we look at a time of flight calculation. The question is asking us to work out the velocity of the chromium 52 plus iron using the equation given here. And this equation here will be one that will always be given in your exam. What we've got to do then is we've got to work out velocity. So we've got to rearrange this equation here in order to get velocity. So kinetic energy is equal to half mass velocity squared. Now the first thing we'll do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. And that gives us the following. I'm now going to divide both sides by m. And that gives me this. And then in order to get a v on its own, I'm going to square root both sides. And that gives me v. So I've now got an equation there where I can work out the velocity. The kinetic energy you can see is given in the question. But I need to work out the mass. Now the mass it wants is the mass of one of these chromium 52 plus ions in kilograms. So what I need to do then is... 52 times 10 to the minus 3 because this 52 here is the mass of one mole of chromium ions in grams so we need to first convert it into kilograms by times it by 10 to the minus 3 or divide it by a thousand and then to get the mass of one iron rather than a mole of them we divide it by Avogadro's constant which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 and when you do that calculation, you get an answer of 8.635 times 10 to the minus 26 kilograms. So now you've got your mass value, you can plug this mass value, this M value here, into your equation. So what we have then is... 2 times the kinetic energy, which we'll just check, is 1.269 times 10 to the minus 13. That's divided by this mass, which is 8.635 times 10 to the minus 26. When you plug that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 171. 4410 and that's in meters per second which is when we put it in standard form 1.71 times 10 to the 6 meters per second and that's how you'd work out the velocity now it's important you can do this because you might be asked in a question to work out either a, a time or a distance now because velocity is distance over time once you've worked out this velocity value if the question gives you distance then you can work out time times distance over velocity if the question gives you time you can work out distance by using the following equation so if you're ever in a question asked to work out the time that the iron uh, takes to reach the detector or the distance it travels in the flight tube the first thing we know we have to do is work out the velocity using this equation and then if you need to work out time and you're given a distance use this if you've been asked to work out distance and you've been given a time value in the question you would use this